I don't think you should be a fan of a politician, any politician. It feels more and more that people are fans of politicians and fans of political parties in the same way they are Kansas City Chief fans or Green Bay Packer fans or Dallas Cowboy fans or USC fans or Florida fans. They treat these things like you have your standout stars, your quarterbacks, right, that lead these parties. And those are treated like the quarterbacks of a fucking football team. And no matter what, no matter how bad they do, you kind of stick with them, right? You're treating these politicians, like these political parties, groups of politicians, whether or not you want to pretend they're politicians or not, by the time they're there, they're fucking politicians, baby. They're being treated like a sports team. And that, in my opinion, is not the way to go about it. I don't think you should be a fan of a politician, any politician. Politicians don't need fans. You should not be a fan of Donald Trump or AOC or Dan Crenshaw or Joe Biden or any of these other fuckers, right? What it does is dilute your thinking and invites in confirmation bias. Confirmation bias is a driver of human behavior. It is essential for us to be who we are. For us to have developed and become as advanced of a species as we are, we need a confirmation bias. It's a part of who all of us are. It's not a, it's not a dig. It's not a knock. You've got it. I've got it. The best we can do is be conscious of it. And when we look at that, why would we then do a thing around politics that allows us to invite in confirmation bias with no friction because it conforms to our already existing beliefs. And then we have a cycle. We have a feedback cycle of fuckery. And that's not good. So I think a better way of going about it, no matter how much you love a politician, no matter how much you think they're, they're, they're going to do the thing that changes everything, they're going to write the ship. The best thing you can do is be critical, critically hopeful. The best thing you can do is be critically hopeful and supportive. Critically hopeful and supportive. If you just go into it with that, say, I don't know a fan of this person, this guy, this lady. I'm critically hopeful. That means I'm going to, I want them. I, I think they might, they could do some really great things, but I'm critically hopeful. I'm critical and just telling yourself that might make it a little bit more true, right? It changes the dynamic within your mind and the way you see a thing. It changes your perception of a person or of a situation, of a reality. I'm hopeful because I want to stay positive about this. I really do. I want to put that, I want to put good vibes into the universe, right? <laughs> but I'm critical as well because I'm a human being and that person is a human being and I know they're not infallible, right? They're a very fallible person. They can do, they can be bought. Like anybody, they can be manipulated. They could have manipulated me. Maybe that's what happened. And if you ask yourself those questions and set the frame, right? Set the frame for your political support as something that's critically hopeful, not unfiltered support. Well, then you've got something you can do, right? Then you've got an out. Then you've got a little wiggle room. Then you've got a little bit of a, no, a healthy amount of doubt when it comes to what a human being can do, which I think personally is way healthier. But if nothing else, it's something to think about. I hope you're having a great day. You know what would make my day really, really good is if you subscribe to this channel, turn on post notifications and like this video, it would mean a lot to me and it would really help us overcome uh, the content moderation that seems to have a bit of an influence on who sees our videos, when, where, and why. Make your day better, make my day better, and let's just move forward together.